Hi, I'm Neve Shulman from Catfish, and I have a new book out right now called In Real Life, Love, Lies, and Identity in the Digital Age. Uh, I talk a lot about managing your online life versus your in real life, or your sort of actual life, and making sure that you invest the right amount of time into your friendships um, with people who are actually around you and uh, physically present in your life. Um, I find it's very distracting and easily sort of addictive to be so concerned with all the people we are quote friends with online and end up spending less and less time with the people that really matter. Uh, but when it comes to dating on the internet, there's definitely some things you can look out for. Um, first of all, you got to be really honest with your profile because if you're looking to really meet somebody who likes you for you, you want them to know what they're getting into and to not be surprised when you do meet in person. But be really careful not to put too much information of yourself out there because, well, unfortunately there are predators, or rather catfish, who will use your personal information to craft uh, the perfect sort of approach or a fake person to appeal to you. So, you know, don't be too forthcoming. Uh, and obviously protect your safety, don't, you know, maybe use your full name or certainly don't put your address or things like that. Um, but also be unique. Don't try to fit in, don't try to be something that other people will be attracted to. Know that what makes you different and appealing is exactly who you are. So if you're into some strange or unusual hobbies or if you have an obscure band that you really like, put that stuff out there because who knows, that might just be the thing that pings on someone else's profile and they say, wow, look, we have this amazing thing in common. Uh, so don't be afraid to sort of show who you are, even if it feels a little strange or unusual. And, um, and I guess just meet up as soon as you can. Uh, sometimes there are valid reasons, but oftentimes people who have too many excuses for not being available or being too busy are avoiding meeting up with you for a reason, whether they're lying to you or they're in another relationship, whatever it might be. So set like a real guideline or a time frame for how long you're willing to talk to someone before you actually do meet up with them or at the very least video chat.